Hey guys, Kiran here. So last month I released a video on Illumina stock and it seems a lot of you are really interested in this company and want to know more about it. I also got a lot of comments from people saying that Illumina was destined to fail as it got outpaced by third generation technology. One comment even said that Illumina was old printer tech. I just had to laugh at this. In this video I want to explain why I think Illumina is much more than just a biotech company and how investing in this stock is a really good way to get exposure to the growing genomics revolution. If you're already an investor in the company or you're just thinking about investing, then I really suggest that you watch this one through right till the end because I really think it's going to open your eyes on this company. As always though, this is not investment advice. It's just my stupid opinion. So always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Okay, so obviously Illumina make the machines that sequence DNA and they also supply the consumables required to do the sequencing. At the heart of this is the digitization of biology. Taking biology, reading it, and then turning it into readable data. This is really ground zero for the genomics industry and it's from here that all other genomic applications are built. And it's only in the last decade that this technology has become cheap enough that it can be used commercially. Illumina's business is booming. They hold 70% market share in the sequencing market. And out of all the DNA sequenced in the world, Illumina's machines were used to sequence 90% of it. Now they might sound like a Silicon Valley unicorn that's losing money hand over fist, but that's not actually the case. They've actually grown revenue and earnings for well over a decade. If you want to know more about this, then check out the last video I did on Illumina, where I did a broad analysis of the company overall. I'll link it up above and down below. I highly recommend that you check it out after this video if you haven't seen it yet. However, for this video, I wanted to get deep into a specific aspect of Illumina's business that I don't think a lot of people really appreciate. You see, Illumina is much more than just a company that make DNA sequencers and supply consumables. On top of this, they're also a venture capital investment fund that invests in the genomic revolution as a whole. To explain just how successful Illumina are at this, I'm going to take you through some of the companies that Illumina have spun off in recent years. After that, I'm going to explain Illumina Accelerator and Illumina Ventures, two independently managed parts of Illumina's business that were set up specifically to develop and grow new market opportunities for Illumina's products and to generate return on invested capital. You see, not only does Illumina get equity in these companies and directly benefit from their growth, but they also indirectly benefit from the increased revenues they get when their customers, who they part own, grow and buy more of Illumina's products and services. It's a freaking genius strategy. Okay, so let's firstly look at Grail, which is arguably the most successful spin-off, or at least the most hyped to ever come out of Illumina. Before I go on though, guys, I'd really appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up because it really helps me grow the channel. I really appreciate it, so thank you. Okay, so Grail is probably the most commonly known Illumina spin-off, and it got a lot of attention because its mission is just so bloody big. They want to detect cancer in its earlier stages, where a survival rate of 70 to 90% is typical. In contrast to this, cancers that are detected in a later stage have a inverse survival rate of 10 to 20%. So by achieving their mission, Grail will directly save millions and millions of lives. Grail want to do this through a simple blood test that could be done on a routine basis. It's still in its early stages and they're carrying out unprecedented amount of research involving hundreds of thousands of patients to try and prove the efficacy of this technology. But if it's a success, then the opportunity for both Grail and Illumina is massive. Not only because Illumina still own a part stake in Grail, but because the demand it would create for Illumina's products would be huge. In total, Grail has raised about 2 billion in capital since 2016, and it's attracted really well-known names as investors, such as Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Grail began back in 2013, when Illumina acquired a company called Veronata Health, a company focused on non-invasive prenatal testing. That science came from the discovery that small fragments of fetal DNA across the placenta during pregnancy, 
With sensitive tools, scientists learned how to isolate the fetal DNA to safely screen for any abnormalities that might impact the infant's development. By the time that Illumina had acquired Vernata Health, the non-invasive prenatal testing had been completed about 100,000 times. It worked really well, except in a very small number of cases, about 20, where a foreign signal was detected in the results. The researchers couldn't understand what the signal was, and they theorized that it might be some sort of fetal abnormality. Several months later, the 20 babies were born, well and healthy, and the researchers had to go back to the drawing board. Unfortunately, later on, that signal ended up being identified as cancer. The prenatal test had detected tumor fragments that were floating around in the bloodstream. While the test detected late stage cancer, it didn't have the sensitivity to detect early stage cancer. This is when Illumina saw the opportunity to try and further develop this technology, increase the sensitivity so it could detect early stage cancer as well. Illumina's R&D team kept working on the technology, but in 2016, they decided that it was best to spin off this side of Illumina's business and Grail was henceforth formed. Grail is truly at the epicenter of biotechnology. It's using big data and approaches from machine learning such as neural networks to understand that data and make advances in oncology to be able to detect cancer early. At the time of launch, Illumina owned about 50% of Grail, but now after all the additional funding, they own less than 20%. However, the real kicker is that Illumina has said they expect Grail to become its largest customer of sequencing units and consumables over time. Another company that Illumina spun off in 2015 is called Helix. Helix set out originally to be an online marketplace, almost like an app store for consumers to be able to buy genetic tests. It partnered with various companies and medical centers that offered genetic test kits, and it then processed and stored the results of those tests on its cloud-based servers. So basically, customers paid a one-time fee to Helix to have their DNA sequenced using Illumina's equipment, of course. Once this is completed then, Helix essentially store the DNA information on their database and customers then have access to a wide range of follow-up tests which are sold through companies that Helix partner with on the marketplace. Helix had a revenue sharing agreement with these companies, including the likes of National Geographic for their ancestry test kits and also well-known companies such as Mayo Clinic. Recently though, Helix has changed its strategy and they've actually gone away from this idea of being an online app store marketplace. Now it seems they're focused solely on population genomic testing and genomic health tests. I think the reason they did this to get away from a lot of the industry that isn't backed by science, such as the fitness tests that are marketed to athletes and stuff. And a lot of this stuff got, I'd say, bad press for basically being voodoo science and not really offering consumers any insights or information that was really usable. We don't know exactly how much Illumina owns of Helix, but we do know that they're still the largest shareholder even after multiple rounds of additional funding. We also don't know how successful Helix's business is or what revenue it generates for Illumina. But I think it does demonstrate Illumina's forward thinking and its willingness to try new things even if it does fail. The beauty of it being a spin-off, you see, is it's a win-win for Illumina. If it fails, then it's no big deal. It's just a spin-off. But if it succeeds, then it could significantly grow Illumina's top line through increased demand for its products. I think these are really smart bets with asymmetric risk return and it just shows how competent Illumina's management team are. The last spin-off I want to talk about then is a company called Verigan. In 2017, Illumina partnered with Telegraph Hill Partners, a venture capital and growth equity firm to spin off Verigan. The goal of Verigan is to drive adoption of next generation sequencing in the forensics market. This includes like criminal casework and all other forensic applications. As part of the deal, Illumina granted Verigan sole and exclusive rights to its forensic genome sequencing platform. Verigan also assumed responsibility for all research, development, technical and commercial responsibilities for the forensic genome mix business that did sit with Illumina. Without getting into huge detail on this, I just think Verigan is another really smart way that Illumina literally are creating new markets for its products but also creating a brand new brand that has the potential to be a leader within its chosen industry. 
The alternative here would have been keeping that forensics offering within Illumina and essentially watering down Illumina's brand and over diversifying its value proposition. Again, to hamper this point, I think it's just a really good example of good management and good strategic decision making. Okay, so now let's take a look at Illumina Accelerator. Rather than you listening to me explain it, I'll let Illumina do the talking. Building a company is really challenging and it's oftentimes very different than what you'd expect. But being part of a community of other people who are doing the same thing, they're in very similar stages, you learn a lot from them and you can support one another. True Genomics is a precision genomics company and we're developing a biomarker test to diagnose post-traumatic stress disorder. Mantra Bio is a exosome therapeutics company and we're focused on developing exosomes for drug delivery and targeted cell therapeutics. Unite Genomics is a company that focuses on big data analysis. So we help large life sciences companies discover the next generation of precision therapies by analyzing large amounts of patient genomic and health data. The Accelerator drives value in a number of ways. Illumina provides an extensive amount of resources in terms of lab space, the office space. They also connect us with angel investors and venture capitals and professionals in Silicon Valley who have started businesses and have sold companies. You work very closely side by side with other companies. You suddenly get several startups worth of expertise from scientists with decades of experience. As a small startup, if you want access to sequencing resources, it's going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars before you can even generate data. Illumina Accelerator allows you to generate data on day one. One of the things that uh, really surprised me about Illumina Accelerator was uh, how much access we had to internal experts within Illumina. The culture of the program is great. The, the managers, Amanda, Poria, and, and Courtney, are very engaged. They give us weekly business coaching sessions where they help us go through our business plan, they help us go through our pitch deck. We've only been part of the Illumina Accelerator for a couple of months, and yet uh, we've changed pretty dramatically as a result of it. One of the most valuable parts of the Accelerator was our, our monthly meetings with Mustafa. He just has an incredible history of building startups, but he's also an incredible scientist. It's not just about the time that you're part of the program. You continue to remain connected, and that brings a lot of important connections for any company that's growing. Once your period as a company in the Illumina Accelerator ends, that's definitely not the end of the positive effect. And we're just very excited about the future of, of our company. I would recommend this to any genomics company that wants to bring their business to the next level. Every accelerator promises a lot of resources, but very few actually deliver and Illumina Accelerator delivers. Okay, so if we look at the different areas that Illumina Accelerator has invested in, we can see that it's distributed across therapeutics, software, consumer testing, and diagnostics. And up to 2019, 38 startups had collectively raised over $300 million in funding. From a financing perspective, the startups can raise up to $100,000 from seed investors. And here's the dinger, Illuminate takes 8% common stock in each startup. I think previously this used to be 10%, but they seem to have scaled it down to 8% for whatever reason. But it's still a significant chunk of the common stock of these companies. And again, this is just a genius idea, because at the end of the day, demand for Illuminous products will only grow if further downstream use cases come to market, which drive the growth. So Illumina is investing in these ideas to help them grow. They're essentially investing in their own future customers. Not only do they get equity in these companies and directly benefit from their growth, they also indirectly benefit by increased revenues from these customers buying Illuminous products, which they own part of. Again, I know I keep hamping on about this, but I just think this is such a good strategy for Illumina. Okay, so I hope you're still with me. Lastly, I want to talk about Illumina Ventures. So with Illumina Ventures then, Illumina basically partners with other venture funds and together then they invest in genomic startups that they see as being strategically beneficial. A quick count on their website shows 16 different companies that the fund is invested in and 13 that Illumina invested in directly before they started Illumina Ventures. Again, this is just another way that Illumina brilliantly leveraged capital and knowledge to create new market opportunities and capital growth. Illumina is the majority limited partner in the fund with a commitment to invest 100 million. 
other partners have invested 130 million. Okay, so hopefully now you can see that Illumina are not just a company that make DNA sequencing machines. While they control 70% of this market alone, they're also investing heavily in new companies. These companies can not only grow equity for Illumina, but they also grow new markets and open up opportunities for increased revenues for Illumina's products and services. When we look at the breadth of different companies that Illumina has invested in, from Grail, Helix to Verigan, are all the different companies that they've invested in through Illumina Accelerator or Illumina Ventures. We see that buying Illumina stock is actually exposing you to the genomics industry as a whole. Illumina is an incredibly well-managed company that are absolute leaders in the genomic space. I couldn't think of a better company to have a venture fund to invest in the genomic space. I mean, who else would be more capable to pick future winners? Illumina has decades of industry knowledge and experience. And most of these companies that were spun off by Illumina, and remember I only mentioned three, are ran by ex-Illumina executives. While they are different companies, they're still inextricably linked through relationships and through equity. Lots of these executives, including Illumina's CEO himself, have come from the technology industry. And it's really clear to me that this is shaping how Illumina is strategically managing its business. It's impossible to know what's going to come of all these companies that Illumina has invested in. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's going to result in growing revenues for Illumina and growth on invested capital for Illumina shareholders. While many of them may simply fizzle away, all Illumina needs is one or two to do really, really well, such as Grail, and the opportunity then could be massive. But this is the essence of venture capital investing. It's high risk, but high reward. The difference is Illumina gets double the reward. Equity value, but also increased revenues from its customers, which it owns part of. I know I keep saying this, but I think this is a freaking genius business strategy. And I don't think a lot of people truly get the opportunity here that Illumina are creating for themselves. Okay guys, so let me know in the comments below what you think of Illumina's strategy and if you're invested in this company. Also, if you got value from this video, if you learned something new, then please hit the like button. It really helps me grow the channel and I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel for more in-depth research just like this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.